गुड मॉर्निंग सर हाउ आर यू उंटिंग and mm-hmm. now i'm pursuing my masters of arts in english literature that's all about mm-hmm. my education <laughs> mm-hmm. okay great great fantastic mm. you are very articulate which is good mm. oh thank you <laughs> mm. uh, so what about you sir can i know something about yourself please uh, first uh, would you want to guess uh, where i could be from where i could come from basically i think uh, maybe tamil nadu or kerala to stick <laughs> yeah i am from chennai oh, okay <laughs> i am from chennai uh, i'm sorry about the background noise so, uh, okay no problem yeah so what happens is um uh i um i do a lot of things uh, <laughs> ashutosh uh so as of now uh, my full time employment is with an it company and mm-hmm. i am a data analyst okay okay that's my full time job but uh, uh, teaching english has been a passion of mine okay, okay. Um, i owe it to my school teachers i owe my english fluency to my school teachers uh-huh. and uh, they the i was blessed that uh, in that i i was able to go to a school where they uh-huh. taught me how to speak english the way it has to be spoken and how mm-hmm. to speak my mother tongue the way it has to be spoken mm-hmm. my okay, mother tongue that's great english. to hear uh-huh. yeah my mother tongue is not english okay don't get carried away by my name <laughs> okay yeah it's tamil right is yeah. it yes yes uh-huh. yes yes uh-huh. so uh because i was born in a, a christian family my parents decided uh-huh. to give me names from the bible uh huh uh-huh. there by andrew stephen and david is my family name okay yes. uh okay so um apart from uh, uh being a data analyst and uh you know uh, <coughs> uh, teaching english on clapping over Mm-hmm. i am into so many other things like uh, i like gardening okay okay and, uh, mm-hmm. i i my the thing that interests me most are bonsai uh-huh. I, i i create a lot of bonsai okay uh, okay uh, uh-huh. so uh, uh, and uh, what is um i started my career as an interior designer okay uh-huh. then uh, moved on to leather processing uh, tanning basically which in kanpur uh, is a very f- uh, yes popular. leather industry is really leather popular over here popular. kanpur is a famous city for that even yeah. though i was not aware of that when i moved to another cities then i came to know about it the people say oh you are sit- like you know from the leather city i said oh my goodness <laughs> when i came to know about it that kanpur is a city which is the hub of leather industry yes yes so <laughs> when i was uh, uh, into leather processing yeah, we used to interact between a lot of people uh, there are these uh, special zones uh, for leather <laughs> and kanpur is one uh, one hot spot Uh, mm-hmm. uh here in tamil nadu we have uh, two or three different centers one is mm-hmm. uh, uh, one is my native place which is uh, um ranipet okay uh-huh. where uh, this vellur area okay uh-huh. so there you have this ambur vaniyambadi and all the, those places there's a mm-hmm. lot of leather processing then there's uh, each of them specialized in certain uh, type of leather like in kanpur uh-huh. you would have seen uh, what is called the east india tanning oh, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. this is this ta- this tanning process is as old as the indus valley civilization oh, okay mm-hmm. that is the kind of process they follow in kanpur 
<laughs> okay. That goes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, the, if you process leather that way, you you the leather that comes out is like a board, like cardboard mm. or plywood. Mm -hmm. It becomes mm -hmm. rich. Okay. Yes. There are your kanpur chappals. Ah ha ha. That uh, that sandal colored uh, leather, na? Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, kanpur is famous for that. Very popular. Oh, wow. Yeah, <laughs> Here, uh, in Ranipat, we mostly pr process what, is, what we, we do, what is called chrome tanning, uh, uh -huh. which is the most harmful way of tanning leather oh. because it spoils the environment. And uh, uh -huh. uh, thanks to uh, Mrs. Gandhi, we started doing that here. Mrs. Uh -huh. Gandhi, uh, she when, when she came to Velo, she saw uh -huh. how much of leather is being exported. At that time, we were either doing East India tanning. <laughs> which was done exclusively with vegetable matter. Uh -huh. Okay. And the residue will become fertilizer. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> okay. But now we are using chemicals. Yes. <laughs> because Mrs. Gandhi said uh, no more exporting raw leather or East India tanning leather. We will export uh -huh. only, uh, we will only do semi-finished leather. Export semi-finished <clears throat> And upwards. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So thereby, what happened is, uh, and uh, the Westerners came here and said, what are we going to do with uh, plywood kind of leather? We want leather uh -huh. for our jackets. Yeah. We want cloth-like leather. Okay. Mm. Thereby, chrome tanning came into being. And uh, thereby, th this chromium is a heavy metal. Mm. Mm -hmm. Right. And this settles mm -hmm. down, percolates into the water, underwater, underground water. And the entire area is now polluted beyond redemption. You cannot do anything All but right. only have industries there now in my native place. No more agriculture. Uh, oh. So that, that's the state of affairs. Then there's another place down south called Dindukal, where they process mostly goat and sheep leather. Mm -hmm. And Erod is another place where they tan um, cow leather. Cow and buffalo. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I was into leather at that time. Then I came to uh, Chennai, yeah, from my native to Chennai, and I was working for a poultry feed industry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then I moved over to medical documentation. Mm. Do you see any connection between these? <laughs> I think connection, but of course, from that leather to this poetry and then like now into like medical documentation, I think that little different. Yes, yes, because uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, uh, this involves uh, learning medical terminology and medical logic. Yeah, it's totally different from yeah. that. So now I'm into data analysis, uh, uh -huh. which again is for the healthcare industry only. So my expertise uh -huh. in medical language and medical logic is what I put to use here in my present job. Uh -huh. so I'm an old man. <laughs> yeah. Yes, exactly. So you did a lot of uh, things and you took a lot of experience by doing yeah. those things. Yeah. So yeah. you are still continuing your job at this moment, right? Yes. I, okay. I, I, I write uh, uh, what are called diagnostic algorithms for... Uh, uh, this uh, uh, this IT company. Uh, so for the IT nowadays, are you working from home or just do you go to office? I work from home. Okay, that's good. Yeah, uh, we also manufacture some hardware for our uh, uh -huh. <laughs> application, and only when we are required to test that uh, hardware, newer versions of the hardware, I need to go to the uh -huh. office. As otherwise, I I work from home. Okay. So do you enjoy working from home or just uh, do you like to go to office? I What's prefer, your opinion on that? I, I prefer to work from home. Ashutosh. Oh, it's better for you. Yeah. Uh, well, one thing is I hate uh, traffic. Oh, yeah. It's that is the, like, you know. <laughs> horrible. And people are, uh, <clears throat> I whenever I ride my two-wheeler, I ride with one assumption in mind. That is, Everyone except you are mad. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. So expect the unexpected on the road. 
exactly right senseless driving senseless reckless uh, people uh, we have uh, i don't know about uh, kanpur but uh, in chennai it horrible Yeah, of course same here it doesn't mean that if you are on the right track that you are not going to hit by someone because uh-huh. of course a lot of drunkards are there the people they will come and they will just go with their own way like the way like uh, weaving through the traffic yeah it's not your fault if you are getting ex- like you know accident yeah three, it happens three back, i was uh, i was i was sitting on my uh, scooter at mm-hmm. in the left most extreme of the road left extreme mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. there was a truck uh, lorry just behind me a tipper uh, lorry uh, just behind me uh with without realizing that he is very close to me he just moved his truck for no reason and hit me uh, i almost mm. thought i lost my leg because it oh cut between the scooter and the uh, lorry's wheel front wheel ha uh-huh. ha so fortunately i did not sustain a fracture or uh, any serious injury but uh, uh-huh. i'm i'm a heart patient okay uh-huh. so I, i take blood thinners hmm. uh, what happens is if your skin gets broken if you have a tear hmm. or a cut it will bleed non stop hmm. so I, I, uh, fortunately i mean uh, i don't know about you but uh, i believe in god <laughs> Yes, I do too. Of course, I'm I'm very much into spirituality. Okay, okay. So mm-hmm. I think only God saved me because um, otherwise, I I it could have been a very serious accident. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so this kind of things are very common in traffic. Even though I just you know I don't go out and I avoid going out. Reason is that because if you are going on your feet, but you don't know like you know who will come and hit you from like you know behind from just. Back. Mm. nothing is uh, certain there and road like you know streets are overcrowded now i can exactly. see that that's why i avoid going out and i hate that crowd and just mm. here and there there is a no tra- like you know traffic rule and stuff like that it's not united states it's not uk that the people they will go in a very certain okay. row that the car mm. behind car behind car no like here car bike <laughs> man like yeah. truck like that it will look like a very like you know mm-hmm. most most importantly cows in between yes cows in between and anything yeah. like you know you will see like if you will see that it will be full like you know you can't say that that is a row row <laughs> mm-hmm. so that's about uh, that uh, ashita uh, 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 uh i have we missed out on today's topic uh, for discussion ashita <laughs> so what was it no problem Mm-hmm. it was social work or something okay okay social <laughs> work uh, the americans call the same thing by a different name are you aware social work they call it by a different name do you know that what's that philanthropy or something mm, no it's called community service community service okay mm-hmm. yeah much the same thing social uh-huh. work is, is is british basically Oh, because okay. he inherited uh, the language from the British. Right? <laughs> exactly, <laughs> they ruled over us, and we got. Yeah. They gave us the language in return. Whatever we can say that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What uh, the British? What what the British called road traffic accident. Mm-hmm. Road traffic accident. Uh, the Americans call it motor vehicle accident. <laughs> okay, so. uh you must have heard about language barrier like if the yeah. two of us don't speak a common language our languages mm-hmm. become the barrier for communication right exactly But when it comes to the americans and the british they have what is called the common language barrier yeah exactly they are having their own terminology and the britishers having their own terminology then also it is difficult to understand each other and sometimes accent becomes problem for them if you will get a guy from like is scotland he will not yeah. be able to understand like americans will face a lot to understand them it is very very difficult uh, to understand scottish it is not mm-hmm. even english. i won't call it english it is scottish or scotch yeah, yeah and, they are uh, having their own thick accent yes 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 very very thick mm-hmm. very thick accent 
and uh, 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 likewise the australians they have mm -hmm. uh, they they are somehow uh, pronounced you as you wherever it occurs mm. okay mm. uh, uh backup backup is backup mm -hmm. yes yes he sounded like an r up uh -huh. but they say uh -huh. backup backup you mean <laughs> yeah they are having their own and in new zealand also you will find a certain yes. difference yeah but nowadays of course most of the people call it like modern english because mm -hmm. what is happening the people from new zealand they go they will go to us and they will mm -hmm. uh, they will become an actor so if you will like people from britain they will stay in like united states for 10 years then in canada for a few years so they are having that mag like you know mixed uh, just modern accent they call it yes 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 it's, it's now turning to become homogeneous uh, yeah you know all, all different uh, 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 what the british called vitamins the americans called vitamins uh, exactly called uh, finance uh, the americans call it finance mm -hmm. yeah same word but uh, see how the pronunciation changes from one place to another uh, okay Mm. so uh do you do any social work uh, i i, I exactly saw... of course sometimes mm -hmm. sometimes post... i do uh, mm -hmm. you are a, you are a youtube youtuber yeah i'm running and <laughs> that's what i will not call it social but of course i'm trying to help others by making videos and mm -hmm. along with that also sometimes i go out as i told you that i'm in spirituality so sometimes i go in temple and serve Uh, something what can i do like that so mm -hmm. that's what i can call it. but i don't do a lot of social service at this moment but mm -hmm. for sure like financially sometimes sometimes physically yeah i do mm -hmm. oh, okay okay good good and uh, see uh, the um, human beings are called social animals right yeah <laughs> the the very concept but now it is we are selfish animals <laughs> Uh, you are spot on man you are spot on <laughs> uh unfortunate isn't it uh, mm -hmm. yeah uh, uh, i don't know how much time we have uh, now we are having we are left with few seconds i think yeah so it was uh, great talking to you 